Okay, we have our friend still here this morning. Um, he made it through the night, but he's... Um, he's definitely not doing good. Uh, he's not suffering, but he's... He's not getting better. He's he's actually gotten a, a little bit weaker. So, Starry had to go to work this morning, and we were I was trying to decide what to do. I got to make some tough tough decisions here. And I asked her before she left, "Don't you have some kind of IV stuff that we could somehow give him? Is that an option or what?" And she went to work and um, conversed with one of her other nurses and yes they came up with some liquid uh, or some IV stuff and so I just got done putting this in him and it's just a little needle that goes in his back under the skin and um, hopefully he'll be able to absorb some um, of the liquids because that's what he's need he's, he, he's warm but he's just too he's just too weak He's breathing, you know, slow and fine. He's not labored or anything, but he's just, he just needs to improve. Otherwise, he's not going to get better. So I'm just trying to keep him calm. And, you know, he's alert. But he's got, he's, he's got to improve. Otherwise, it's, you know, it's not going to be good for him. So hopefully, this will uh, help him. We'll find out in a little bit here. Okay, we'll... Uh, Keep you guys updated. Hopefully things go well. You taking care of him, honey? Oh, you taking care of him? Yeah, you don't want the kitty to get by you. You don't want that kitty, huh? You're protecting the deer, aren't you? It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. He won't. He won't hurt him. He won't hurt him, honey. Good job, honey. There you go. It's okay. Good job, honey. Good job, honey. Because he's not suffering. He's not really, per se, improving. Um, but I listen to his lung. It's it's strong. Right. Um, it's not an overload. His lungs are clear. Um, his breathing is is right. unlabored. So we're gonna give him the benefit of the doubt because we feel that he's not suffering. That we gave him the fluids underneath the skin. Right. So and I just you know he might just. After the, the fluids, he might just rally. You know, he's been laying there for a long, long time. A long time, so... And with that hyperthermia and all the shock. And, uh... And he's not in pain, nothing's broke. He's just totally exhausted. And then down the driveway today, I see his mother and his oh, sister. Did Life goes on. Yeah. For them. So hopefully we can. It'd be awesome if we can get him yeah. back out there with them. I know. Yeah, he's got ticks. Oh, yeah. Is that right, buddy? Yeah. Uh, we're watching him pretty darn close. I watched him all day. I didn't get any work done. Yeah, Mr. Hilder was here with him all day. Yeah, he just... He's just exhausted. Yeah. I gotta give him another 24 hours as long as he's not, in, he's not in pain, he's not laboring, he's not suffering. And I can honestly say that as a nurse after assessing him. He is, just appears to be totally, totally exhausted at this point. And we'll see if those fluids help. And I'm not too concerned about eating right now. They don't really need food. P even people can go without food for quite a while. It's the hydration that they need. Mm -hmm. 
So one liter of, uh, of fluids it, with this small a deer should definitely make a difference and at least get them hydrated. And because I put it underneath the skin subcutaneously, it's not going into his vascular system to overload his heart, and that's really important too. So we're we're doing everything right, and, and we got the guard dog over there. <laughs> He's insane. Sprig. Dogs got my mentality. Yeah. You know, he likes to hunt, and uh, that type of thing. That's what he's trained to do. That's that's my deal. That's what I'm trained to do. But then now he's protecting the deer, and yep. just like you know, yep. I I'll do whatever it takes to save yeah. an animal. Yeah. Yeah. We love our animals. We have great compassion for them. And even Sprig, who's who's a hunting dog, <laughs> he now is faithfully, loyally staying next to that deer, making sure that that deer's going to be okay. Right, honey? You're going to protect that deer. You're just going to like it. All right, brother. You're a good job, buddy. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, friends. Uh, uh, the deer didn't make it. Didn't make it. Didn't make it. Uh, you know, I got up last night uh, twice to check on the deer. Uh, he was sleeping. He was sleeping. He looked good. You know, just restful, not laboring. I gave it a little syringe of a little bit of water. I kept hearing his stomach gurgling, gurgling, and I didn't want him to aspirate. Uh, and this morning, Mr. Hilder said he got up and he didn't make it. Didn't make it. And I feel bad. I feel bad. And Mr. Hilder said, don't feel bad. He didn't suffer. You know, we did everything that we could do. And I know he didn't suffer. But, you know, and it's not just me, it's me as the nurse wondering, what didn't I do? What didn't I do? I, I, and now I'm going over in my head again and again. And now I'm worried that, that he was starved to death. I didn't give him enough uh, through the, the syringe. Uh, regardless, he was in a state of shock. He was in hyperthermia. Uh, I think we really stabilized him. He didn't have any broken bones. He was not in any pain. And at least he he peacefully passed away. Um, boy, that was just hard, though. I'm totally exhausted. I'm totally exhausted. I'm exhausted. I feel bad. I feel bad. Uh, I don't have anything else to say because I'm just... <laughs> just... It's been a long couple days. But I will say I, w I wouldn't ever change it again. I mean, I wouldn't change what we did. We found the deer and we tried to save its life and, and he died peacefully. And sometimes that's just part of, part of, part of the plan, apparently. It wasn't meant to be, so. No, that's just, it's kind of life on the homestead. Life on the homestead sometimes can be hard. <laughs> it can be hard. Not that my heart is too soft for for this this. Uh, yeah. I just uh, uh, friends. It's just been hard, 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 hard. A lot, a lot of stuff that keeps going on. You know, I and I sometimes say, uh, I really feel strongly. A lot of the times that God is using me as the example of a trial, <laughs> a tribulation, uh, hardship, and and He's using me because I've got the platform and I can glorify Him and show all of you that you can get through it. You know, you come with us so many times through all of these 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 things that happen. And all of you friends go through probably just as much as we do. And we always seem to get through it, don't we? Okay, and we're not eating the deer. We're not butchering it. We're not doing any of that. We're, respectfully, we are going to uh, 
take care of the deer. And uh, life goes on. All right. Thanks, friends, for all your support and uh, your prayers and your concern. Um, just another sad day in the homestead.